the chaos for Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy um, and his House Republican majority continues. It all started with the debacle getting him the speakership. And now um, I have yet another example of the troubles he's having leading his conference for you today. And this comes in the form of New York Times reporting that's been done on the way Kevin McCarthy feels about his number two um, and another individual in a leadership position within the Republican Party in the House. And now he's in hot water because this was revealed the way that he feels about them. And they're unhappy with him. It's just all falling apart as maybe you can hear sirens um, are going by the building. Okay. Uh, Jumping into this, instead of reading the New York Times pieces, Mediate kind of solidified this nicely, so I'll read their coverage of it. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is facing backlash from GOP lawmakers after the New York Times published a report suggesting the Republican was blaming his own leadership for the lack of a budget. And so Biden has proposed, uh, for a little bit of context before we continue with this article, Biden has proposed his uh, budget it's just a proposal. It won't actually get through, but a lot of really good things in it. And he's waiting so that they can negotiate, especially so that they can figure out the debt ceiling situation um, for Republicans to present their budget proposal. And that's not exactly happening. And Kevin McCarthy is blaming those under him. Uh, according to the Times report this week, McCarthy reportedly said he doubted House Budget Chair Jody Arrington or Arrington, I think it's Arrington, could deliver a budget proposal. And he called Majority Leader Steve Scalise an ineffective leader. Ooh, that's his number two. Uh, McCarthy denied the accusation that his leadership team is not unified, though. An Axios report later revealed some blowback to McCarthy's alleged comments and suggested the speaker may be on rocky ground in his leadership position. Oh, no. Uh, quote, the, me uh, the members I've spoken with are just stunned by his rebuking of his budget chair and certainly of our leadership. One unidentified House Republican told the outlet, I can't imagine, um, and then they're referring to him lasting an entire term. Arrington gave his own statement echoing McCarthy's promises that the party is focused and unified in putting together a budget. Our nation is staring down the barrel of a debt crisis and my budget committee colleagues and I are focused on one thing, passing a budget that will stop this reckless spending and restore fiscal sanity in Washington before it's too late. Another Republican lawmaker accused the House Speaker of treating Scalise and Arrington as scapegoats. Representative Ralph, Ralph Norman was a tad more blunt in his statement. The agreements made by Speaker McCarthy, among other things, is to begin the 10-year balanced budget now, and with his uh, initiatives and directives, it's his responsibility to get the 218 votes to ensure our nation's financial security, just as he did in securing the 218 votes for Speaker. The Republican uh, said the Times previously reported McCarthy had been trash talking his GOP colleagues and compared the reported infighting to Mean Girls drama playing out um, on Capitol Hill. Huh. Mean Girls drama. So if it starts as chaotic as how we saw this whole era start with Kevin McCarthy's speakership being so difficult to get, of course, we're going to see examples like this and the debt ceiling, the budget negotiations, all of that matter and bad things could happen. Horrible things could happen if um, the incompetency of the Republican Party is so bad that this can't get done. And that highlights why it matters to have people who actually have an interest in governing and not just political theater in these positions of power. But unfortunately, at least the House majority um, does not fall into that characterization.